Hey, this is John Hotchkiss. I'm the host of Be Less Stupid. And the reason that I'm wearing this hat is because behind me is Donald Trump's national golf course in Palos Verdes, California. And I came to do a little undercover investigation. And I don't want anyone inside to suspect that I'm actually a liberal journalist undercover. Come on, let's go. Welcome to Be Less Stupid, I'm the host, John Hotchkiss. I gotta say, I wasn't sure what to expect when I arrived at the Trump National Golf Club. Were they gonna welcome me? Or did they have my picture up in the lobby with a note that said, keep the fuck out? You see, this wasn't the first time that I've gone undercover to a Trump thing. Before the midterms, I put on a MAGA hat a bunch of times in order to hang around his supporters at a gay bondage bar in West Hollywood. I'm kidding, it was in North Hollywood. Okay, look, it was at a bunch of Trump rallies across America. I thought that if I looked like one of them, they'd open up and tell me why they still supported him, which is what I was there to find out. The first rally that I went to, the video I made about the crowd size went viral and got more than 15 million views on Facebook and YouTube. Another time I shot a Democrat get out the vote video from inside a Trump rally. Uh, that one went viral too. On another occasion, I went undercover at a Sean Spicer book party. During the Q&A, I stood up, I asked Spicer about Russia, Tell and suddenly a security guard Watch raced out. up the aisle. He hit me like a tackling dummy grabbed me around the waist, and carried me on his shoulder out of the nice ballroom. He tossed me down some yeah. stairs, you frog marched me, me through way. the parking lot, yeah. threatened me I with a taser, and then threw the me off the property. My car! Get off the property. I have to get my car! Let's go. Right now. Well, you can't really tell. That's only a little of it. That doesn't look like much, but uh, you'll have to trust me that my hand is uh, pretty bloodied up. Anyway, uh, that's what happened. Uh, I asked a question right after they said, why can't we all just get along? And uh, it would be good if we could get along. Only that wasn't what they were interested in. I, I raised my hand, uh, I asked a, a question very gently, and uh, I was uh, uh, muscled out of the facility. Tell me your name. Watch For out. Oh my! Okay, so back to Trump's golf course. After parking my car, I walked onto the property, which was eerily empty. There were so few golfers and Trump supporters around, I figured that someone nearby must have been having a book burning party. After a bit of checking out the place, I thought I heard someone behind me, maybe one of Trump's goons, so I had to take off. I ran along this ocean path. You see, Trump's course is adjacent to a nature preserve, and some of the park's paths cross Trump's property. Next, I raced up the stairs of the clubhouse figured I'd lose the goons inside. Then, I ducked into the bathroom. Once I finished, I snuck around, ran to a dark, narrow staircase that led upstairs to the lobby. Turns out, Trump National Golf Club is a public course, and anyone is welcome inside, regardless of who you voted for. Moving on! If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know that in the last video, I went to the Trump Tower Hotel in Las Vegas to find out if Trump really cared about American workers when he was just a con man real estate developer. In my room, I checked out the label on every item to see where it was made. No surprise, most of the stuff was made in China. If you want to see that video, by the way, I put a link down in the description. That said, when I was done editing, I had a new question, actually. What if all that stuff from China was just an aberration? So to make sure, I went to the Trump National Golf Course to find out where all the stuff there was made. If Trump really cared about American workers, I'd find all sorts of things at the golf course that were made in the USA. All right, so here we go. The first thing I checked was the humidor in the lobby. Surely Donald Trump thinks of himself as a sort of Marlboro man of Washington 
rugged, independent. Only instead of his teeth being orange from years of cigar smoke, it's his skin. Turns out these Macanudos, Magnums, Gurkhas, and Romeo and Juliets are from Honduras and the Dominican Republic. These Padrones and Monte Cristos are from Nicaragua. If Trump cared about American workers, his humidor at his golf course would offer the Grand Habano, Don Pepin, and Ernesto Padillas. Those cigars are hand-rolled the old-fashioned way in Miami, Florida, made from the finest U.S.-grown tobacco. Then, after the lobby, I decided to go and check the stuff in Trump's golf store. Surely, an American as great as Donald Trump, who supports American workers, has filled his store with goods made by honest and decent, hardworking men and women from America's heartland. Nope! Turns out all these shirts are made in China. All these hats? They are from China, too. This jacket is from Cambodia. All these shirts are from Vietnam. And this pullover is made in India. Uh, look, clearly this isn't Trump's fault, right? I mean, everyone knows that there are no apparel companies that make golf accessories that are entirely from the US. Oh, I'm being told that is 100% incorrect, that there are lots of US-based companies making golf clothing. For example, there's one called Golf in Adelphia, New Jersey, whose elite collection of golf shirts are made entirely in the US from fabrics made in the US. Diamond is another US-based company that's a family-owned apparel manufacturer in North Carolina. They make high-quality golf shirts from cotton grown in the US. Okay, so look, the clothes are made mostly in China, but surely the clubs, I mean the clubs, they're made in the good old US of A, right? Because Trump is all about America first. Nope, turns out the clubs are made in Mexico. But that's only because there are no companies making golf clubs in the US, right? Actually, no. There's P53's Authentic American Irons, the only irons made entirely of US steel forged in the US, and they're from Austin, Texas. And by the way, that is not all. You know how Trump doesn't believe in climate change? The lights on the golf course are solar power. Instead of plastic, the straws at the bar were made of paper. And then there's the Star Diamond Award the golf course has received over numerous years from the American Academy of Hospitality Sciences. They are a for-profit company that recognizes luxury food, hotels, and apparently golf courses. And can you trust their five diamond award? Well, probably not. You see, Donald Trump himself has served on their board of trustees. Don Jr. and Eric have two. However, everyone swears that there's no conflict of interest. And finally, instead of an all-American 4th of July Uncle Sam hamburger, the menu features a French dip yes, sandwich good. with a side of yeah, French, French fries. Now, I wish that I could say that this sandwich was awful. It would have made me very happy to tell you that it was awful. However, it was not. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay, that's it for this episode of Be Less Stupid. Please remember to share the video on social media. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and remember to comment down below. I do try and answer people's questions if they have any. For Be Less Stupid, I'm the host, John Hotchkiss. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.